Calton with AFNHA AmeriCorps, partnered with the Forest Service in Bartow, West Virginia. I'm a watershed conservation member, and part of my service is trying to spread more information about the native candy darter, which is the only endangered fish on the forest. We're doing this by creating interpretive posters, activity books, and taking kids snorkeling in our freshwater streams. Snorkeling gives us an opportunity to engage directly with these stream systems that are running around our backyard and learn about what's beneath the surface. As we learn about the fish and the macroinvertebrates that live in these systems, we can start to understand why stream health is important and what we can do to help protect it. Hi, I'm Rachel. I'm an AmeriCorps with the Appalachian Forest National Heritage Area, serving at the Monongahela National Forest Bartow Watershed Program. And I created, designed, and developed some of this candy darter outreach and interpretation materials that we all see here today. So these materials include an interpretive poster, an interpretive sign that you see right behind me here, as well as a kindy daughter adventure book, which leads children of all ages, really, through uh, an exploration of candy daughter, their habitat, and some of the cool features um, that make this endangered fish so special. The need for this, these projects arose because COVID-19 required us to put some limitations on our direct person-to-person -person outreach. Um, and we couldn't gather in groups and talk face-to-face -face like we had been doing for so long. So I determined that we had a need for uh, outreach that connected with people virtually, connected with people um, out in the field where we didn't necessarily have to be there um, to deliver our content and to teach people about the aquatic environment. This prompted me to create many different levels of outreach and education, which has been created into um, metal signs placed all around the forest, as well as posters delivered to classrooms across uh, the candy darter range. For the metal signs, we are really trying to reach anglers and people who would be using the trail, families, hikers, um, those populations that would be around fishing locations. You can help protect the endangered candy darter and other native fish by making sure that you're not moving live bait fish from one stream to another. Also ensure that you throw away your live bait into the trash can when you're finished with fishing. Thanks for joining us and tune in later to see more videos about fish and the beautiful Monongahela National Forest. Thank you.